as you know, we have been doing videos on the Finnish Dake material. Uh, I will include him in this video, but we are going to go beyond the Finnish Dake now. We're going to be dealing with perhaps one of the most difficult books in the Bible to uh, deal with or understand, and that's the book of Revelation, which is the last book in the Bible. The first book is the book of Genesis, then you go all the way through the Bible, and the last one is the book of Revelation. And as many scholars say, if you didn't have the first one, you couldn't have the last one. But if you didn't have the last one, you couldn't have the first one. So these two find their parallels in doing what the first book said would happen and this is what is happening and is going to happen so you see they coalesce now with with Finnis Dake as you know the last book I got by him was this one the revelation expounded eternal mystery simplified now when it says simplified according to me it's not very simplified but <laughs> I will say it's very good. Now, in order to deal with the book of Revelation, naturally, we're going to use this one. But let me show you what else I have here. This one is by E.W. Bullinger. Now, this is his entire book on Revelation. Now, I have the Companion Bible, which is Bullinger's entire Bible, which does include this. But this one is even more detailed. Um, because he does the same thing he does in his Bible, uh, but he also does it with much more detail. And this is what it looks like inside, if you can see any of it. You'll see right here where my little finger is. That's how he takes a Bible section and divides it up to show what's fulfilled and what isn't. And then, of course, underneath this, you have the same thing. And then, of course, all over the place is this commentary. Now, why I'm showing you this after the Bullinger book is that uh, Dake was highly influenced by Bullinger and must have read his work because you find so much of it is similar. So that's why... I have those together. Now, another book I have on Revelation, perhaps, is one of the most interesting books. And this one here, as you can see, is rather thick. And you notice the title of this one here. Revelation, Four Views in Parallel Commentary. Now, Four Views in Parallel Commentary. Now, what you'll see here, he divides this into four ways of looking at the book of Revelation. One is the historicist's view. The second is the preterist's view. The third is the futurist's view. And the fourth is the spiritual, or I would call symbolic view. Now, everything that's done on top here is from the book of Revelation itself. And across the bottom, you have each of those ways to view the book of Revelation explaining what that means and may sometimes have other scripture that you can look up to go with it. Now, this book is extremely helpful uh, to understand how these different views of the book of Revelation interpret the book of Revelation, because I say it's very hard to interpret. Now, the reason I mention that also, because according to Dake, he gives all the possible views you can have of the Bible, and he says the futurist view is the best. Uh, and that's what I have here, and that's why uh, I 
uh, say that. You know, here he has schools of interpretation. One is the preterist, one is historical, and the other is the future school, that the revelation is yet future. That is, that the first three chapters describe what is happening now, but whatever that is after those chapters it tells what will happen in the future. And then he talks about what's literal in the book of Revelation and then what is symbolic. So, you see, if I use that futurist view in here, I get a very good idea of what Dake was like. Now, we have two more, which are actually, I would say, psychological books about the book of Revelation. The first of these is Revelation of St. John. You see right here. Revelation of St. John, the path to spiritual initiation, understanding the true meaning of the apocalypse. Of course, apocalypse is another name used for the book of Revelation. And this is done by Zachary F. Lansdowne. Now, what he does in here, he takes the actual text on this side, from the book of Revelation, right here. Then on this side, he has his interpretation of it in the initiatory right to be a spiritual elite. Then what he has is notes underneath that shows many sources that confirm or show you where you can find more details about that. Now this is an extremely interesting book and from this, by the way, when I was reading it, I found a lot of references of things I hadn't known before. By the way, the Course in Miracles is referred to in here quite often. And naturally, since I'm working on that, I will go back and take a look at that. Now, the other one, psychological, is really fascinating. This one is rather large. And here you can see this one here. This is called... Interpreting the Revelation with Edgar Cayce by J. Everett Arion. I-R-I-O-N. And he was a student of the Cayce work for years. In fact, he's part of that whole place down in Virginia that he keep all the records of it. And he studied those thoroughly. So what he is doing, he's taking all the Edgar Cayce readings and applying them all through to the book of Revelation. Now, this not only gives a psychological understanding and a spiritual, but also gives a physical understanding because uh, according to Edgar Cayce, everything that happens is related to us in all ways that we are. And then he gives the best way to be. But all of this comes from this man's study of of uh, this great prophet, Edgar Casey, how it applies to the book of Revelation. So again, this is psychological. Those two are psychological, but also spiritual. So these are the books of Revelation we would be dealing with. And even though we've mentioned Dake in here, which of course his book of Revelation is very important, and in the Dake Annotated Reference Bible, you have that whole book of Revelation with his tons of notes. So all of this relates to what we're doing. But first, this is simply a view of the books of Revelation that I have uh, in paper or printed form. Of course, I have some in, in uh, internet form. But we will be dealing with these books as we go along. So this will be part of our study of the world's most interesting and misunderstood book in the Bible, the book of Revelation.